Hey guys, so <clears throat> I just uh, decided to post this video up because um, uh, it's just been something on my to-do list for a while and uh, I've just been wanting to uh, get my hard drives pulled apart. Um, these hard drives were in a RAID array um, in the basement of my house when it burned down. So uh, they're pretty toasty. I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to be able to salvage any of the information on them and these which is really unfortunate because I had everything on here so so I got two of them like I said they were an array to array so they're identical the information on each one are identical so we'll start with the worst one and then as you can see it got so hot that the uh, the aluminum here um, it, um, it, it was melting and got deformed. This must have been laying up against something like that and it just pushed the aluminum to the side. So these things are super scorched as you can see. Yeah, let's start with this one. Just pull all these uh, screws apart off. See what it looks like inside. So you can you can't see any chips on here. I mean, they completely scorched it, the entire board. It's well, there are some chips on the back side. So this is what it looks like. I thought I was uh, filming this. So here's the uh, the platter. Doesn't look too good. Um, it doesn't, but they don't look like they're warped. Like the one I saw this. The, the platter was like folded down and warped on that other video I was watching. These seem to be, don't seem to have that issue, but there's water stains and uh, the heat, you know, peeled the uh, this coating off at the top of here. So, I don't know. It's hard to say if this is a salvageable or not. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but yeah, without the chips uh, from these boards, I don't think there's much hope of salvaging this. Mm. Trying to get these uh, these reed fingers out of the way. Let's see, maybe I can get the platters off. I'm taking these, these screws out. Let's try that. There we go. Mm-hmm. Well, if nothing else, it's, it's kind of interesting to just look at how this thing's put together got that free but it looks like between each platter there's like this retaining whatever piece here if I send any of them back to get to try to get um, salvaged it's gonna be uh, gonna be this one here which wasn't as is slightly less heated up but still uh, there's no chips on it doesn't look like a, oh, there it goes. Popped off. Hmm. Yeah, got that one too. Maybe I can get the, some of these other platters off. <clears throat> there we go. That's how we do it. So here's another, another disc. That's why they call them hard disks they're hard but looking at it like looking at this thing like this it doesn't look like it's it's warped so it's kind of cool so I don't know I might I might try to send this one in and just hope that they can uh, somehow salvage it 
Okay, so I just got off the phone with this company in California called Data Savers, and in a nutshell, there is actually a a chance, it's probably a small chance, but that they could recover the data off of my hard drive. Um, I'm just saying one hard drive because I already opened up the other one and yanked the, the disks out of it, but um, I completely, you know, I described the situation and everything with them and uh, with the hard drives and and their condition and uh, he said that even without the chips on the control boards that they can still oftentimes um, recover the data off of it any parts that they need they source themselves and um, to make it possible and then um, and he did say that if the hard drives are open and there's contamination that has gotten inside of them that uh, it does make it uh, much more difficult for them to uh, recover the data off of the off the hard drive di uh, disks um, so uh, it can be quite expensive um, the minimum is eight hundred dollars and it goes up to uh, twenty nine hundred dollars and possibly four thousand dollars based on one of the emails that they sent so it's but the the cool thing is that it when i send them the hard drives so they sent me a shipping label already to send the hard drives to them so if the hard drives when they get there and their engineers like check them out and they say hey you know this is something that we there's no way we can uh recover the data off these hard drives, then uh, there's no charge for them to uh, give me an evaluation on that. If they say, yeah, we can do it, and um, and then they get into it, and they say, and they're not able to do it, um, if I understood him correctly, he said that there's, n there's no charge um, at that point, um, when, even if they make an attempt to do it, a data recovery off of them and they're not able to so I might be wrong in that um, but I think that's what he said so even if even just having them initially do an evaluation is worth worth it because I mean they're paying for the shipping so that's pretty cool um, so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna ship it to them I'll show you their um, the email I got from them. so this is uh, the shipping label that they sent me and then uh, this is the, you know, their whatever confirmation here. This is 800, 2900. Um, I think he misunderstood me because uh, I told him four terabytes and he put down 500 gigabytes, um, which is not correct. So, um, so yeah, anyway. So I hope that helps. Um, you guys it, it did uh clear things up for me and um i was basically sure that there was no hope for these drives but there is a possibility still um i've never seen any videos where the drives were this bad uh where they did, anybody tried to uh, recover data off of them so it would be interesting if they were able to actually do it and if they are, um, I'll just post, I'll try to remember and post another video to update you guys and let you know. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.